meant for an adult audience. Love, love, love line may contain sexually oriented content. Mm, listener discretion is advised. Love line with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. Hey everybody, it's Love Line. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number one eight hundred L O V E one nine one. Dr. Drew, board certified physician, addiction medicine specialist. Maroon Five is uh, here tonight. Adam Levine, James Valentine. Good to see you guys. Hello. How you doing, man? Good to see you. We've never met before. We've never met before. No, but I saw you guys four or five years ago when you were doing your speaking tour. Uh, you came through the University of Nebraska, where I was a student at the time. Yeah. yeah. The lead center, do you guys remember? At the Johnny Carson yes. uh, Theater or That's something. Right. Remember oh, that? really? Remember I don't we were, remember that much. Remember we were lurking around the back trying to find a way in? The, the usual. Yeah. The usual. The usual. Uh, the usual fare. Got picked up by the uh, co-ed with the uh, hatchback uh, hamper. <laughs> <laughs> we actually lived, we were across the street. Was that the one? No, no. We were across the street at the hotel. But they literally, they're like, come no, on. No, no, I mean at no, the airport. We got picked up oh, at the yes, airport yes, with a hamper. Yes. By a yeah. student? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we used to, it was, uh, and this is not going to be about us, fellas. It's going to be about Maroon 5. But let's just say this. Uh, we used to do these college uh, speaking tours, and uh, because we had horrible management, uh, <laughs> that we would never get an actual driver. The, the kids yeah. who were part of the college speaking board, uh, whatever, committee, would come pick you up. And for some comical reason, and... Uh, Drew, stop me if I'm exaggerating one iota. The person to pick us up. The person that would pick us up or was in charge of transportation yes. or the group yes. didn't ha- oftentimes didn't have a car. Routinely. Did, routinely I, I, I didn't did have, have a car. car. Routinely. routinely didn't have a car. <laughs> yes. They had the roommate's car. Say. Yeah. They had the roommate's no, car. Whoever they could borrow a car from. Yeah, whoever they yeah. could borrow a car from. Mostly two doors. Mostly early 80s, late 70s mostly filled Japanese with the hatchback. Six weeks worth of laundry. Hampers, hampers and stuff. But, yeah. And it, we, we'd equipment. show up, we'd, you know, lug Standing at the airport wearing overcoats, and it's like, you know, st- uh, I would always stuff Drew into the back of the uh, car, <laughs> pushing the hamper side. Apologetic oftentimes for the, but it's like, that, not a van. <laughs> Not not, a, the, not nothing on campus. No, nope. no, no, no official anything. Nothing with the Nebraska, you know, uh, with the Corn Huskers, the Huskers. Uh, sticker on the side of it, the logo, zero. Now I remember. Yeah, that was yeah, that was, that good. was a big deal. I mean, Lincoln, you know, never gets anything like that. I, the auditorium was packed. Yeah, it was everyone a big was event. really excited. It was you know Hollywood. It was, was like three thousand yeah, people that thing. Remember that? <laughs> <It> was huge. <laughs> Pappy, let's go down and see those love line boys. Yeah. Now, how how was it? Be be honest. No, you don't, know, it, don't say don't. You know, it, don't sugarcoat you know, it. It was great. You you guys. You know, somebody asked a question about there. There was this girl who's dating a Mormon guy, and she asked this question about it. And, and I was raised Mormon, so like, so I was, uh, you know, I was relating to this question. And I was sitting next to my girlfriend at the time, and she was like, "Yeah, I think you know you, you're messed up because of that." <laughs> So, so you, you messed yeah. up his game, basically. You messed me, you, you know. Screwed him up. Well done. Screwed it up. It's, well always, uh, it's always bad when you're watching something uh, with uh, the old lady that hits home for you. Yeah. Like, he wants to be intimate, but then he wants to finish on me. And I, <laughs> and you're like going, oh, cr-. You know when they hit, you know when they hit you? And Dr. Phil's going, well, does she have a tumor? And, and you're like going, oh, let's change the channel. Like, once in a while, like most of the stuff they talk about, it got nothing to do with you, but once in a while, they get you like they get right yes. in your uh, oh, yeah. wheelhouse and it seems or they talk about some infidelity that maybe you had or some situation whatever it is it some mirrors history. you and it's always weird whether you talk do you bring it up like do you know you know do it you doesn't go, even matter they still feel it they, they feel they, it and they make you feel it too. and you feel it too but do you say anything <laughs> or you just kind of look down and you want to change the channel but if you do it too quickly it seems desperate and uh don't and you, guilty don't, don't you get the you see Oh well, yeah, I do. Yeah. I do get the uh, yeah. not even the words, just the looks. No, no, you get the for, the, the explicit. You see, I, I remember that theater was it had a huge, huge, wide, yeah, with no aisle, right? No, it was a no big aisle deal. in the middle, right? No, it's yeah, giant, it, giant. When they built that, that was that was a huge deal because you know Lincoln so was lacking in a proper performance. I totally venue. understand. Like when you get annoyed when we talk about LA, <laughs> how alienating <laughs> it is for you. I'm feeling that right now. Okay, okay I'm Lincoln. sorry. Thanks, mm. man. Really All right, because uh, Adam, you're from you're from Los Angeles. I'm from here, man. Born and ra- and like what? Los Angeles, Los Angeles. Three one zero two three two three. Like and really, three, yeah. two Adams were separated at birth. I think Adam was just talking about the lack of measure, the lack of accuracy of any of the available tests to measure intelligence. Absolutely. Oh. That of course they don't measure intelligence. They measure just what you learned at school. Mm. And as both of you didn't attend school, or oh right, I attended school. I just wasn't paying attention. Didn't pay attention. <laughs> Adam went to a school, but it wasn't. 
Where'd you go? What school did you uh, go to? I went to Brentwood, which is Brentwood, r- yeah. very, very preppy and very sure. focused on, ed- or not focused on education as much as focused on grades. I spoke at Brentwood. Is this the one down? You probably did. It's Yeah, yeah it's, it's really beautiful. pretty. It's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's shit. It, is it a public? Like, once in a while, you see these public schools, and you go, wow, is this a, is a private no, it's college? Pri- it's private, but it's, it looks it's, it's nice. It's, yeah, it's really, really it's nice. It's by OJ's yeah. house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, I know, I know it sounds morbid, but that's, uh, the, when I saw, I went to North Hollywood High, so like, mm-hmm. when, whenever there's some, some tragedy to school, like Columbine, and they're going through, well, it was in the at the mezzanine level of the library. I'm always like, oh, what is this? It's, 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 it's three stories worth a library with a whole glass facade and an elevator. Like, we had stuff with wheels on it. My, Just, go, my girlfriend went to Columbine. Really? She graduated a year before. Wow. Yeah. wow. Interesting. Wow. Bad you tra- tra- tragedy, yeah. but a great looking, amazing looking <laughs> school. Yeah, well, no, there's that. It's a gorgeous school. Yeah. It's like a college. Suburban. All right. Well, you, that's, uh, it's a, I guess it's a pretty small world, right? I mean, uh, girl, I'm, Columbine's got to be, what, 3,000 students? It's not big. Yeah, it's, but it's public. I don't think it's a private school, though. Public. It's public, which yeah. is surprising. That's the part I was angry about. Private, I don't mind. The Brentwood's beautiful <laughs> campus. Somebody pays to go there. <laughs> the, the, kids, uh, the kids at these beautiful schools, the public ones, why nothing. Not, why, why not, not North me? Hollywood? Why yeah. not North yeah. Hollywood? Why not me? Yeah. Asphalt everywhere. <laughs> Every uh, the, half the half the bungalows have wheels on them. <laughs> That's where they send the stupid kids out to the wheel bungalows. I don't know what it is. It's like, hey, get used to staying in places that have wheels. No, because you'll like, be living you, in a trailer. That's so right. That's exactly right. Break nice in. smooth transition. The trailer trash room. You go I've right right room. from the <laughs> temporary bungalows. Yeah. Maybe into some uh, makeshift work camp, and then right right into your trailer. There you go. That's where you'll die. I invented a new word. If you notice. <laughs> What? The trailer trash room instead of the trailer <laughs> <Yeah>. classroom. <laughs> it's always bad, too. Like, my buddy, uh, the Wheeze, had this. Uh, uh, you know that the uh, it's bad when you're in high school and you have one teacher? Like, that that's a bad oh, sign. Yeah. Like all, you yeah. Know, one, yeah, Mr. Saponzi teach. Yeah, well, I got him all, all day long. I got him all day. Yeah, no, 8, eight o'clock to 3.30. Same oh, guy. Boy. Yeah, that, Wheeze had that. I think he did. Yeah, Ooh, I think it's, it's worse than you. They they let him out the auto shop, and then uh, that was right there. That's worse than you. Isn't everything yeah, had bad. no hope for you? No, I had no hope. Oh. I had no hope. <laughs> I still have no hope. But I'm literally a millionaire, so it's great. That's awesome. <laughs> uh, we're gonna hear something uh, off the CD. I think we're gonna hear it in the uh, in the first hour here. Yes, cool. maybe even the first break, Drew. All right. So I'm looking at this uh, piece of paper. Do you know? Uh, um, let's see. Last week, their single hit the, the number one on the top 40 uh, hot AC and modern AC at the same time. Number one. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, are there any? Oh, you doing, uh, you doing Leno on today's show? Oh, next month. Yeah. Okay. I saw Leno and I saw Today. And I thought, huh? And then mm. I did the math. But see, I wasn't a good student. So I could <laughs> barely do that math. All right, Drew. Oh, and out with uh, John Mayer, who was uh, in here couple months back. Yeah, oh, John, John Mayer here? Yes. I mean, he, he loves to talk. Do you, do you? He's a good talker. He is a good talker. Yeah. He's, uh, he likes the ladies. I remember that. Let's see. I remember he's tall. He's a better looking in person. And he uh, loves the ladies. And he's got a good vocabulary. Yeah? Very, very intelligent and very articulate. He is. Smart. Yeah. Well, and it comes across in his uh, music, I would say. Tom? Yes. You're 22? Mm-hmm. What's up? Yes, I have a question. Um... The last um, three months, I've been dating this girl, and recently we finally had sex for the first time, and I found out that I was a pre-ejaculator. Um, mm-hmm. And um, Now, was that we contacted via the mail, or is it just something you learned on the job? <laughs> uh, this is something I learned on the job. All right. And then um, what else happened is, um, as we were doing it, um, you know, it was pretty quick, and then it started going down rapidly like really quick and um then we started doing it again mm-hmm. and um it wouldn't go back up at all mm-hmm. and you lost your virginity last month you're 22 huh you lost your virginity at 22 yes you're gay true please <laughs> are you into the do you, do you like the fellas at all no not at all <laughs> not at all oh. no nope. you don't want to protest too much like when people say hey what am i into dudes i'm like yeah uh-huh. <laughs> Nah, nah, right. I guess I'm not. cool, but no, yeah, I'm, not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, not against them. <laughs> nope, I'm not into that. I just never really, you know, got around, you know, just kind of just <clears throat> waited, I guess. And anyway, so... Well, tell me more about yourself. You, you sound huh? uh, you're a healthy, normal person, no, no medical problems. No, no medical problems that I know of. I mean, I'm pretty healthy. Mm-hmm. Well, how tall are you? I'm 5'5". Five, five. 
Mm. Because I'm just, I go down that path because you sound younger than 22. Oh, yeah? It makes me wonder if you sort of have any developmental issues or if maybe some of this, this sexual dysfunction is related to something biological. But and maybe the reason that you had no drive to get lose your virginity is part of some biological issue. Yeah, that could be. We, uh, we talked to 14-year-olds who have lost their virginity and they're like... Andrew, yeah, stab it to my ass. So. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote my uh, <clears throat> I wrote my chopperoo over your dad's condo, and I was banging this uh, seventh grader for a while. I got a lot of smoke. And that, that's what the fourteen-year-olds sound like who are getting laid. So maybe the twenty-two-year-olds who aren't getting laid sound like the fourteen-year-olds. Do you oh. see what I'm saying? Yeah, that could be. But um, yeah, it's just difficult because now we, you know, want to do it quite often. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Wait. Or he's 15 minutes above his call. Uh, okay, Drew, Drew's spidey sense has been tingling this yeah. uh, entire <laughs> yeah. show. Yes, Drew? Yes, yes. This entire call. The entire entire call. Yeah. And, and Drew's not normally wrong. This, I, I'm not wrong with this something up. He's not wrong. Yeah. He's wrong about everything, actually. <laughs> but, but not the, some, and, uh, I, some kind of bizarre turn of events. He's never wrong with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But then, so on the other it, hand, it, he's a diminutive guy. He's 5'5". Five five. But maybe there's some biological developmental issue. All right. Tom? Ah, we busted him. No. He's going to come back. Really? Yeah. <laughs> there he is. Tom? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. All right, so you're 5'5". Five five. How much you weigh? I weigh 175. Uh -huh. And uh, how, are your parents very tall? Um, my dad is pretty tall, but my mom is really short. Do you Am masturbate? I, were, you, were you masturbating regularly before this whole experience? Do what? Do you masturbate regularly? Uh, yeah, at least once a day. At least once a day. Mm -hmm. All right, well, maybe so you back off. Yeah, be, just back off that a little bit, and the uh -huh. and this should take care of itself, I suspect. Because mm. you're just this is first time out. Yeah. All kinds of things. Uh, is this is this your girlfriend you're doing it with? Yeah, it is. All right. Well, you you work it in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just you uh, figure don't, it out. Don't even worry about it. Do not even worry about it. This will take care of itself. But yeah, because I worry because you know we want to. We keep doing it every so often, and it, it just amazing. seems like it yeah. just doesn't want to go up at all. Hmm. Mm hmm. Adam, you got anything to say? No. I, I don't know. I think it's it's strange because I lost my virginity when I was fifteen, uh -huh. and. It was difficult because I was so unbelievably nervous. And yeah. I think that can be a big thing, too. Yeah, absolutely. And you sound kind of nervous, too. Yeah, but yeah. I, it's nervous because this is a bogus call. I just no. I don't buy this for a second. Really? Yeah. I just, it's, some, it's, okay, some wrong people, and I've, I've said this, uh, just they don't sound sincere. It's like Keanu Reeves. Uh, they just, you yeah. can't believe anything they say. Yeah. They just sound, everything sounds like bad acting out of their mouths. Right. I don't know how. how, how was he just want to, like, hang out and talk to us, though? I mean, like, you know what I mean? It, but it, it just didn't all add up to me. It just, it's not even matter how he sounds, it's just the score didn't add up. All right, whatever. Anyway, if, if indeed this is the real thing, and if indeed he doesn't have any biological problems, and the fact that he can masturbate every day suggests he does not, and his mom mm -hmm. is short stature, and so mm -hmm. is he, mm -hmm. uh, just relax. It doesn't take care of itself. First time out, all kinds of things happen. But now, by the way, he changed the story midstream. Mm -hmm. He was talking about first time out, and we're going to want to do it very often. And then we came back, and he said, we we're trying it all the time, and it won't go up. But so, didn't, he say, yeah. didn't he say he was a premature ejaculator, though? He well, he's first time out, so. But that yeah. doesn't count. Yeah. Right. Right. Give him one chance to tell us it's bogus. Uh -huh. Come on, uh, one come on, Drew. Come on. Just uh, tell Drew he's right. Would you please? Yep. <laughs> See, it's bogus. Is it bogus? No. Okay. <laughs> Drew, would you shut up? Just uh, why do we have to have your mic on all the time? <laughs> what about that foam See, you'd, one? You'd I wanted to get even you more about the the the. the uh, no, look. If I shut your mic, I would just have you here. Yeah, I mean, first off, shows need mascots. <laughs> you, you know what I mean? It'd be great. I could just stick an actual cigar store Indian here. Yeah, and walk out. No, I like knowing you're. Okay. I like knowing you're here. Okay. And plus, we do have uh, nice walks to the bathroom during the break. Okay. Yeah, keep you entertained. All right, I'm, I'm not uh, entertained. <laughs> I'm just a receptacle for your uh, wisdom. My, thank you, you're genius. <laughs> that sounds gay, Drew. Being a receptacle for my wisdom. <laughs> <laughs> Sally. Yes. You're 18. Yes. Oh boy. Are you bulimic? Yes. All right. What's up? Um, I was calling. I, I suppose this is a call for Dr. Drew. I've, mm -hmm. I've had a problem with bulimia for a while now, perhaps since I was 11 or so. Has and it ever been? You've been treated, right? No, sir. Never been treated. I've never come forward with it, really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's gonna it's gonna come forward on its own when you uh, start having heart problems and bone Ooh. problems. Well, and wait I, a minute. No, wait. She stopped. Now, hold on a second. Can you stay? You, you don't believe if someone said, "Look, I had a problem with alcohol." And I stopped. I had, uh, let's say I had a problem with speed, and I stopped. You'd say, "Well, unless, unless you're getting treatment, you you're, not you're just putting else. it off." Yeah, yeah. You're just but you're kidding yourself. Bulimia does. How about bulimia? Bulimia can remit for long periods of time. 
What does that mean? I mean so it, you it can go quit. away for a long time, long period. Can of you time. quit? Can you stop you, it? You can't quit spontaneously. It happens, but it, it will come back again. It will always reemerge. But her thing always? is always ten years very, later, very, very routinely reemerge. But but it doesn't need necessarily be very active again. All right. And but she's describing activity since eleven. Yeah, but I, she she hasn't stopped. Sally, you haven't stopped. I try to stop, and yeah. maybe you know it's a month will go by or something okay. like that. I usually right. spend like three months at a time. All right, so you will you will get very very serious medical problems eventually. Well, you'll you'll have fertility problems. You'll stop ovulating. You will have heart problems. Potentially, your heart can stop. You lose a dent, the uh, enamel in your teeth. You'll get esophageal problems. The, and this just to name all a few. Right. That's all from throwing up. That's all from throwing up. Your body does not function in those circumstances. It right. really creates well, serious. I've, serious. I've, I've intended to get to get help once I once I go to college and I have a little more freedom and I financial freedom and so forth. And that's why the vomiting too, by the way, is because everyone is so down your throat in your family. You know, like intrusive parents. Um, you might say that. I don't. I'm not at home really much. I'm I'm at boarding school. Mm. So I was yeah, that's what happened to Adam. They sent away. Send him away to uh, that Brentwood. Uh, Brentwood school. He tried to buy him off. <laughs> he wouldn't go for it. He rebelled and started a band. Exactly. Got laid at 15. <laughs> Goes down. <laughs> All right, Sally. Yes. All right, so uh, your parents have money. They sent you away to boarding school. You don't feel uh, the connection with them, and uh, they need you to be perfect, right? Yeah, you might say that. All right. Well... Uh, sort of the bulimic recipe. Right. So now uh, now you're you're going to go off to college... Yes. Where are you going to go to college? Boston University. Okay. Yeah. I bet they have some services there. Or yeah, absolutely. Right? They have a medical school. They have lots of services for students. Take advantage of it immediately. Okay? I, I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you just said. I said BU has a medical school. They have lots of student services. Take advantage of them immediately okay. as soon as you get there. And, uh, this Thank is you something very much. You're, you're going to need help with, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the worst time to have bulimia? Like, if you had five years, what the worst five years? Like... Like uh, ten to fifteen. Yeah. So that when your body's changing, growing. Yeah, yeah. and it's also it, it, the earlier the onset, the more profound the pathology. It really suggests really serious mental health problems. But just from a pure physical standpoint. Okay. And, and by the way, do you get do you get screwed up permanently? I mean, if you, you, you have be, some yeah. bone density problem oh, or can, something yep. like that, you're gonna you're gonna have permanent vascular problems. You're gonna have permanent heart problems. You're gonna have permanent soft geal problems. You can it's really have, bad on the teeth, too, the right? The teeth can be eroded, and you can have permanent uh, infertility. Mm. You can have ovarian failure. Mm. And, and is, it the, is, it the, the vom is it the acid coming back up? Is it you not getting the nutrients that you need? Is it all, all those it's, things? It, it's not just the acid. It's the, the content of the fluids that you're chronically losing, and the kidney's trying to hang on to them. Oh, really? And Yeah, you lose. But it's not the heaving? It's not the actual. It's not, no, not the, the stress of the heaving, although that does erode the esophagus and the teeth. Yeah, yeah, good times, huh? I've, uh, you know, I'm always amazed, like uh, when people tell you they haven't vomited because of booze, or maybe once because of booze. Adam, never. I haven't vomited since I was nine years old. Really? Uh, and I've had plenty to drink since. Oh, really? Yeah, I mean, I, I drank, and I, sure. honestly, I, I, I haven't even. I, I, this is actually a really bizarre yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't even felt. Uh, the last time I felt nauseated, I was walking out of a, a movie theater when I was nine years old. And I had just seen a really bad motorcycle accident. And, and I got really sick. And that outside was the last of the time. theater? And that was, a, yeah, I literally outside, right. I had like gummy bears in the movie theater, and I was a kid, and I, was like, I barfed it all up. And that was <laughs> literally the last time I even felt the slightest bit nauseated. Wow. Well, you're missing something very uh, it's great. Great. exciting and yeah. extremely it's important it's human experience. Man. Oh, it's Frank. so awful. <laughs> yeah. And no, no, it's strange, man. I mean, maybe I just don't pass that, especially with drinking, maybe I just don't pass that threshold. Like, you I know, think go you too do, far. Though. But I do, man. Yeah, I, I too. I've gotten I've wasted you. before. I've seen you raging drunk. Yeah, but you just uh, and and when you go to bed, the bed's not spinning around. I well, I mean, in high school, I used to dig that. I was like, "Wee!" <laughs> 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 yeah. I had no problem with it. As just a bizarre personality. Let's hear a song. Yeah, yeah let's hear a song <laughs> in, in honor of Adam's uh, heavyweight uh, status. The, yeah. the duel, no, I, dueling Adam's heavyweight. Yeah, that's that's yeah. pretty good. No, I this Adam. Yeah, is, but you're still heavyweight. I vomited though because of alcohol, probably into the into the forties, wow. maybe. Yeah, that's good. You're supposed times. to feel better afterwards, and I have felt yeah, I have felt the pain of a really bad hangover. So I'm sure you know it would have relieved me a few times. I'm not sure what it does for the hangover. I don't I don't know that it helps the hangover that much. It just actually makes you feel better in the moment. It probably takes a little something off the hangover. Hey, Drew, 
What do you, any? Uh, you don't know? Uh, uh, Drew was a Coke guy. He don't know. <laughs> <laughs> He's into the booger sugar. I'm into the booze. Oh, remember, that dude yeah. the, remember that dude at the airport? Like the little kid when we were walking on the escalator? Oh. We were just at the airport and this kid was kind of standing on the escalator and just looked really uncomfortable. And there was a lot of people going through customs and so many people and the poor <sighs> kid was... Everywhere, man. It's all over the place. All over. Oh, everybody really? around. <laughs> so everybody everybody, everybody got some love. Paper with my kids. Is, <laughs> they, were, they were running to, to uh, Chuck E. Cheese, running to the entrance. They were so excited. <laughs> got so excited. Douglas just spewed all over the entrance. <laughs> yeah. Just all over the, the yeah, glass window. Who's got to take care of that? Over the front door. True. you got to uh, tip someone out pretty good who's going to take care of that. Are you kidding? They, no one could get in or out. They took care of it fast. Try yeah, I, I, I'm just saying, get right into the pocket. Would you, buddy? <laughs> Guatemalan kid with the squeegees got to look after your kids. Come on. All right, everybody. We're on five. Let's uh, hear something. Uh, songs about Jane. Name of the CD. Cued up there, uh, Chris. This one's called This Love. In the studio tonight, Adam and James uh, both here. Songs about Jane, name of the CD. We're going to take a quick break. And then, Drew, we're going to come back, talk to uh, Stephanie. Thinks her husband is gay, and they're getting a divorce. Mm. That's titillating. Awesome. Yeah. All that after this. Hello. This is your radio. Radio. Love line. We'll be right back. As many as one in three Americans with HIV don't know it. To find a testing location near you, call toll-free 1-866-344-KNOW. 
Hey, everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1 800 L O V E 191. Adam and James both here from Maroon 5. Songs about Jane, name of the CD. Now, when we left off, we were going to talk to uh, Stephanie, who's uh, 24. Stephanie? Hello. Yeah. Hi. Um, I'm going through a really hard time right now because yeah. I'm going through a divorce from somebody, my husband. Yeah. Who we're can you, for four can years. you speak up a little bit? Okay. It's funny how when you're divorced, you usually are divorcing from your okay. husband. Okay. Oh, from your husband. Right okay. now. Yeah. My yeah. husband and me, we were married for four years. But when we were married, he would never make love to me. It would be like once every eight months. Mm -hmm. um, he wouldn't tell me the reason why. Um, it was weird because we met off the internet. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. And then um, we were talking for two months over the phone. And it was like um, a community where... Um, of these Asian people where we know each other. It's a small community, so all the, like, parents know each other, so they kind of knew his family, kind of. Okay. So we met, and we dated for a year, and, you know, it was normal. He, you know, he was good to me. He loved me, everything. But was he, was he involved sexually with you during that year? Yes. Yeah, we, no we were like a normal couple. Mm -hmm. and then, what did that mean to you guys? How, how often were you having sex? Um, we, like, every time we see each other, okay, when we first met each other, we didn't do anything for, like, three months, okay? Um, and then, like, you know, you, like, you get to know each other, you fall in love, whatever, you do all that. Now, hold on. If Drew doesn't uh, cut himself a slice in the first uh, three days, he's out. <laughs> he's gone. Well, Forget about three months. Well, he's he a was, doctor. Okay, you understand? Pager goes off. Um, so does he. So, you know what I'm saying? And anyway, so then yeah. we fell in love. We got married. We did the whole white wedding, everything. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, it was going to be the same, like, when we were dating. But then... All right, hold on. Did we find out at all how he no, was sexually? No, no, I did not get it. You Just that they were normal, whatever that is. Right. You wanted to know when they first started going out or became intimate. What uh, was the rhythm? What was the rhythm? Yeah. Once a week, twice a week. Yeah. How'd that go? Yeah. She said they didn't do anything for three months. And then she broke. Then she advanced to the wedding. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Stephanie. Uh huh. Did you guys ever have what you would call normal sex life? He was my first everything, so I'm not sure. Yeah, that's right. what we're trying but, to come figure on. out. Don't, don't, don't they uh, have, like, uh, um, uh, what, what, what magazines do they read, Drew? They? No, I mean women. Oh, <laughs> <Because> uh, Cosmo. <laughs> Cosmo. You ever read Cosmo? I did, but... Oh, you mean you thought okay, of Asians? Parents who were strict, no, they don't so read magazines. They read technical manuals. <laughs> they just, it's all, no, no pictures. No advertisements, just schematics, just folding <laughs> schematics, just two, equations you and I couldn't understand. Uh, uh, you, you really, I, and I'm, that's a tip of the hat to the people. <laughs> Stephanie? Uh-huh. All right, so how many, just, just, would you tell us how many times a week you guys humped, please? <laughs> okay, we didn't do it for like, okay, he wouldn't touch me. All right, ah! all right. Just goddamn tell. <laughs> Drew, I would like to kill maybe myself. It was just, maybe it's because it was once. <clears throat> no, whatever She's it is, we have no idea. They're having a normal. She, she was saying at the beginning. She was, was going back into. We didn't do it for three months. That's what she was launching back into again. All right. What I'm talking about when we got married. He Stephanie, Stephanie, stop, 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 okay. stop. Uh, when, when you started having sex uh -huh. after that three month moratorium, after that three month period where you didn't. How often would you have sex with him? Okay, when we were dating... Ba, 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 ba. Just answer the question. No explanation, no nothing. Okay. After you, after you started... Once you started, how, how often? often? Every time Every, we saw each other. How much? Every time we saw each other, once a week. Ha uh, once okay. a week. Do oh, you see how long even, even... Even trying to squeeze that in with every yeah. time we saw each other. Who the hell yeah. knows how often yeah. that how did, is? Well, Stephanie, how do you expect us to know how often you saw each other? I was going to tell you this, but you guys were being whatever. Okay. okay. All this right. Is a, this All is right. why they're Stop not being whatever. All right. What happened? <laughs> this is why they're not having sex. Okay. Why? So because okay. Stephanie's got a personality uh, problem. You, you got a person? Uh, no, you wouldn't admit it. Uh -uh. What? All right. Keep going. Okay. So, anyways. Um, we'll and by the way, are you proud of the fact that it took us 15 goddamn minutes to find out how often you guys boink? <laughs> I told you already. Yeah. On, on, our, on, our, on our 28th try, it came out. Mm -hmm. How dare you waste my valuable time? <laughs> All right. So anyway, he dumped you, and now well, what? he hasn't dumped yet. They Not yet. Not having sex. All right. And therefore, the divorce followed. Yeah. When we got married, he just would never like want to do anything with me. All right. Here's the deal. Whatever it is, it has very little to do with that. That's just the symptom. Do you think he's gay? I don't know. I think so because I found dildos and stuff. And I would ask him, like, what, what is all this for? And he said, oh, it's for you. And I said, well, if it was for me, why didn't you use it on me? Good and point. And he's just like, well, then use it. 
Well, and I would be see, like, there's, okay. there's, there's, I would I love just to hear imagine you. the communication. What is on. his version of that story? I would love to hear his version. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's not were, what happened. Were, were they still in the package? Yeah, this is what happened. We came down to see my family, and then he would tell me, um, I'm going to go to the gun store, and like, you can stay and spend time with your mom. The and I said, store. okay, that's fine. Yeah. So then I did. we came home, and I did his laundry. I found a receipt, and it was like, um, it had like, uh, it was like magazines, yeah. nudie magazines, and uh, novelty. And uh -huh. I asked him, I said, you know, what what is this receipt for? When did you go yeah. to the porno store? You're not even doing it with me. Why would you go there and buy the stuff? And mm -hmm. then he pulled out the toy and said, oh, well, here, it's for you. And I said, if it was for me, it's been three days. You you would have used it on me right away if you were, you know, so if you wanted to be with this me. Is not, this is not about the sex, Stephanie. Uh, I would have used it on her, but it whap right on the El, head. El Cabong. El Cabong El. with, like, the 60-cell batteries. Just pow. El yeah. Dilbong. El Dilbong. <laughs> pow. I'm a kisser. Oh, what a ball buster. Yeah, this is the problem. Let me tell you something about the Asian ladies. And, you know, I don't like the stereotype. Oh, yeah, that. I know that about you. <laughs> <clears throat> They're usually quiet. You get that Mrs. Livingston type from Gorgia Pavetti's father. But when they once that mouth starts going, look out. Now you got the dragon lady. There's no in-between. You know what I mean? It, once you get that, that's trouble. So you got to find one that just doesn't talk at all. Because once they get going, they don't stop. <laughs> and they're tough, too. The tough ladies. Yeah, Stephanie's got something going on. Stephanie has yeah. something going on. I'm, I'm sure her man has something going on, too. I'm sure, because that's how they found each other. Yeah. yeah. All right, so they're getting a divorce. They don't have any kids. <coughs> Stephanie, no children, right? Yeah, we don't have any kids. How come we have kids? He never made love to me. Hello? Okay, all right, sorry. Well, excuse me, he never did? Well, past four times, the four times, we were, the four years we were married. Yeah, but, okay. The point is, is you, you don't have children. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you're angry and a little screwed up. I'm sure he's even worse than you are. Uh, this is a good time to uh, break clean. You have no children. And then take, uh, get a little therapy, take no, a few is... years off. A lot of therapy. Yeah, yeah. Is he, what, what's he into guns about? What would you say? Why is he into guns? Um, because... I don't know. He just had this fascination with guns and yeah. stuff. He, and he would like kind of like pull it out and be like, I'm going yeah, to... i got to keep the blacks away from the liquor store, Drew. Oh, okay, what? Come on. Listen, Stephanie. Yeah. That was very racist, Drew. No Sorry. kidding. <laughs> well, that's when... And Asians get into guns, eh, that they're looking to protect the liquor store. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Stephanie. Yeah? I'm sorry I had to hear that. Now, listen to me. Get some therapy. Do you yeah. think it was my fault, though, Dr. No. Hugh? It has no. nothing to do with the sex, everything to do but with... I feel ugly. I feel sexually like... You're fine. Yeah, it's everything to do with the relationship and the kinds of emotional... Uh, what's going on emotionally with you two is why there's no physical relationship. No kids. And you the, made a mistake. Yeah. You move on. Here's the deal, Stephanie. Unless you work on yourself a bit, you're going to find another guy just like your husband. Or, which is probably what you're actually... You go out and find some guy that beats the crap out of you. Because really? that's the other version right. of this. And, and uh, don't meet guys over the internet. No. That's please. that's the lesson. Silk? Hey, what's happening, Adam? You're 15. You have a question for the band? Yep. Oh. All right. Um, oh, wait. Adam, before I forget, I just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. Mm. Since it's coming up in a few days. No, yeah. It's not uh, not yet. You're Whatever. Or something, uh, right? Although you wouldn't, you wouldn't know it if you checked the uh, K-Rock uh, birthday calendar. Because, uh, <laughs> uh, ironically, we were just talking to Stephanie on the phone. If you look at uh, May 27th, when it actually is my birthday, you'll see uh, a uh, name that's uh, really unpronounceable. <laughs> True. Go ahead. It's really, it's a slap in the face. It's a slap in the face. There's a, there's a whole laminated sheet that says May birthdays. Actually, one of them says, uh, you already celebrated my birthday. Someone actually yeah. wrote on there, my birthday was last month. It's, it's April, not this yeah. month, too. Under my birthday? Nothing. Uh, unknown temp is uh, in there. Man. It's horrible. It, it's not forgotten. Not forgotten. <laughs> Silk? Yes. Go ahead. Happy birthday, All right. you're an Thank you. official. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, I have, a, of course, a question for Maroon 5. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to know who came up with the album title, uh, which is songs about Jane and, mm -hmm. like, who Jane is. Wow. I thought I would avoid this one on this show. Yeah, for, nobody's for ever reason. asked that question. Wow. Yeah. That's, that, that's actually a commonly, always hate that. commonly asked question. Uh, Jane is my ex-girlfriend, and, and I wrote a lot of songs about her, <laughs> obviously, over a period of time in my life. And, and, you know, I felt like when it was time to name the record, it was just kind of the most sincere way to... to to label it just because it was it was really 
How does she feel about very it? Appropriate. Does she I talk? Does she care? Well, I asked her, uh, a long time ago, which was kind of still around the time that we were talking. I I, I asked her permission because mm-hmm. I, I knew that I would have to be talking about her a lot, and she she was flattered and totally happy with it. I don't really? know. That, I don't know if that's changed over time. Did you dump her? Or she dumped you. We kind of parted ways. Actually, it was it was pretty. We talked uh, everything's pretty for a So he got dumped. No, yeah, no kidding. He's, <laughs> of course, <laughs> kids it's in denial. Had to sing singing the songs about it. Oh, don't bring it up. Don't bring but, it up. But, but, <laughs> no, their song, Which their one? album is called about more Jane. Asian jokes. Actually. Yours is going to be <laughs> about my young Ju Yoon. Yeah, here's uh, by the way, May twenty seventh, right there on the uh, K Rock. Uh, who's having a birthday this month? <laughs> Uh, by, by the way, how my many names young. are on this goddamn thing? <laughs> how many days? Wh- what are there? Are there how many Same days in uh, May? Twenty. There are thirty-one. It's, there are thirty-one. There are uh, yeah, at least twenty names on there. Amy Stevens, a uh, dear friend of ours, uh, had to put had to put a note uh, last month. Everybody, <laughs> they're trying to actually give her a second birthday. <laughs> but uh, no, I got uh, my young uh, Joe Yoon uh, on where my birthday is, and it, uh, by the way, it's someone no one has heard of in the building. That's that, horrible. Uh, an unknown employee has taken the place. And by the way, I am the crown and the uh, the jewel in the crown you're, of K-Rock. You're, you're the bread and butter of uh, K-Rock. You keep the lights on. Uh, the cash I keep, that's right. I, this, you see this? This but is the cash register. You don't, need it. you don't need it, man. You don't need the recognition. It's all I, right. I, I, know, I know. No, I'm better. I'm better than it. Yeah, I mean, exactly. I don't need it. That, 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 they didn't want to embarrass you. It might have called you out. You know, made you feel... But you, you, you understand? Know. I bat clean up at this station, Drew. <laughs> and this, uh, this uh, Mayoon Jun, uh, Young Yoon, uh, uh, this, 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 is, this is a bat girl uh, or it's boy. La- it's laminated, too. Oh, yeah. sticking to things. But it's laminated. That's like that's pretty professional for just a birthday Someone list. gave it some thought, and I still can't figure out the gender of this person that has taken my Is very important Is that where the Asian slot. stuff comes from? Are you upset? Uh, about, you're yeah, that's about, why. That's obviously, just, yeah. yeah. It's bitter. Yeah, I'm pretty bitter about <laughs> my I, I don't know. So you no know, one knows who it is, really? No. No? Not, not on this side. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so, oh, yeah. Silk. Yeah. So there you go. Ex-girlfriend. I like it. Nobody's bitter. Nope. Good all right, buddy. It's all good. All right, later. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I like cool 15-year-old dudes. Think, think how different he sounds than that 22-year-old we were talking to half an hour ago. Yeah. That yeah. guy was like a, yeah. had a wind-up beanie yes. and a spaz and silks. Uh, and by the way, silk, if he's not getting laid, uh, will be getting laid very soon. Because that's what the ladies like. They like a guy. Yes. Yeah, so like con- like Smooth. Quiet confidence. Yeah, we answered his question. It's just like, all right, later. See you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, they always act like, no matter who they're talking to, they're being bothered by that person. <laughs> they're, they're talking to the band. They called, he's been on hold for, uh, how long has he been on hold 58 for? 58 minutes. 58 minutes he's been on hold to speak to the band, act like you care. guys interrupted him. <laughs> and he was a dude. He was beating off. It was a dude, it yeah. wasn't a girl. Hey, was Corolla. What's going on? You yeah. actually, you named Silk a long time ago for not being Silk. Don't you remember that? I did. Same guy. Yeah, yeah you called no. him. Yeah, that's him. I think that's a different set. That's the dude for sure. Well, this guy Boom. is. All right, quiet down. Well, what, what, he, oh, he said he wasn't silky or something? It's Engineer Anderson. Oh, you know Just that. helping Pot you out, buddy. All right, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> How come whenever you help me out, it hurts my feelings? Now, pot your mic down. All okay. right. Let, let's thank you. <laughs> Maroon 5 is uh, here tonight. We'll uh, take a quick break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Love Line will be right back. So get your problems ready. Ready. Drew, how much money do guys spend trying to get chicks? Um, uh, it, it, uh, Into the billions? Yes. Cars, everything. Condos. Everything. Hair plugs. Yeah. All they need is a Max deodorant body spray and a million dollars. Hey, everybody. It's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Adam and James are here from Maroon 5. <laughs> Songs about Jane. Name of the CD. And now it's time to play a little something we call Germany or Florida. Now, here's how it works. I haven't played this uh, successfully in a while, which is uh, all bizarre stories uh, emanate from either Germany or Florida. All this, all the sick, the macabre, the occult. It's all Germany or Florida. And I stumbled onto this uh, about a year ago over at uh, Jimmy Kimmel Live with uh, all the writers who bring up bizarre stories. It always turned out it was either Germany or Florida. So you call in, you tell us uh, the story, and then we guess. Is it Germany or Florida, Drew? We don't guess. We tell them. That's right. It's Germany. That's Florida. right. That's Things right. are sick, interested yeah, from too much fun in Nazis. Sex with and death fetishes. Both of them have got these. Guaranteed not to bore you. Germany or Florida. That's right. Go ahead, Nicole. Hi, uh, you guys. I, I just want to start out by saying I love the show, and I've 
followed you guys for a very long time. Adam and James from Maroon 5, I love your music, and uh, here we go. Right. So there was a youth violence rise, and one particular story... Do you story say youth? Yes, youth uh -oh. violence. All right. Okay. Um, and one particular story stuck out uh, when a pint-sized but burly 12-year-old made clear what he had in mind when he dragged a 13-year-old female classmate to a remote corner of the schoolyard after school let out. If you don't play along, I'll make you dead, he told the terrified girl. After beating her nearly unconscious, he raped her. Mm. This incident, uncovered a recent, recently by horrified teachers in a small town, trigger, would have triggered banner, ha banner headlines a decade ago, but instead it was ignored and buried on the inside pages of the newspaper. Mm -hmm. It was just another routine statistic until someone pointed it out. Mm -hmm. Well, I got to uh, go Florida because uh, yeah. of the rape element. Yeah, Florida. The, uh, That's not German behavior. Germans no. don't rape? Uh, they do. They they, they not, pillage, actually. Yeah. They're pillaging people. Plundering. plundering they plunder. Yeah. They do stuff that starts with P. Not, they're not <laughs> our people. Uh, <laughs> they don't relax and they don't rape, but they do a lot of pill plundering and pillaging. It just It's a little... It, and Pilates. Stuff that's super violent is U.S. That's, yeah. yeah. And it didn't, it didn't get any headlines. I don't know. I'm going, we're going Florida. You Adam, James, now you don't, Absolutely Florida. You don't yeah. have to. I trust your instincts. It doesn't, well, sound, you know, it doesn't yeah. sound twisted enough for it to Don't be listen to us, though. I mean, if you, if you want Germany... Well, if, German. if it was Germany, like, he would have eaten her or right, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would have been truly stuff. bizarre. Yeah, 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 yeah. Germany would have yeah. been... Not, not raping, would have been d dismember yeah, and yeah. consumed. So I say Florida. We're all Florida. We're all going Florida, Nicole. Um, actually, it was a small town near Munich in Germany. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. So how, how heartwarming to know yeah. it's over there, too. <laughs> Laughing time is over. Wow. <laughs> Thanks, and Nicole. According to government data, the youth between ages 14 and 18 account for nearly 13% of the total felonies committed in Germany. You know what, though? I yeah. think that when they said... Uh, when you quoted the person saying, I'll make you dead. Yeah. That's that kind of German. Translation. Yeah. I got that, too. I'll make you kind dead. Of German. I was yes. thinking maybe, but... Oh, yeah. Damn it. Yeah, I just saw really stupid Floridian, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We're going to Germany in two weeks. Uh-oh. Maybe they'll make us dead. Enjoy. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, not All right. Well, that was a big O that, for. That was a good one. It was a good one. Yeah, very well done. Fooled All right. Mm -hmm. All right. We'll be back. I'll tell you that. Oh, no doubt. <laughs> that. And, and by the way, let me tell you something about uh, me and Drew and uh, Loveline in general. We don't sit around and lick our wounds. No, no. <laughs> no we no, move no. forward. We yeah. press forward like any champion. We get like up, the Lakers, dust we're ourselves like the off. We'll see what happens. We dust ourselves off. We're off the canvas in, uh, in nine. Yeah. And we're back in fighting form. Yes, Drew? Absolutely. Okay. No. No. Oh. Okay, well, we're going to take another call. <laughs> oh, you want me to just uh, 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 shout out more uh, sort of... Um, just spaz. Just more, more boxing yeah. quotes. Crystal? Mm-hmm. Uh, we, we'll pull ourselves up by, by our own bootstraps. And uh, sometimes oh. even underpants, because it feels good. <laughs> Go ahead, Crystal. Okay, so I have a question. I'm a little concerned that I'm going to get cervical cancer. Uh, mm -hmm. I dated the guy off and on for about seven months. Mm -hmm. Turned out that the girl before him... He obviously had sexual relations with her. She went, long story short, she went and got her pap smear. There was abnormalities in her pap smear. Right. Um, they also did like a little biopsy. She has, um, and another test, uh, HIV test, STD test. They did a, it's called a um, HPV test. You have to actually ask for that. Mm -hmm. And it's a hu human papilloma uh, virus. Mm -hmm. And it came back positive that she did have that. And the biopsy of her cervical cells showed up that they were precancerous. So mm. I went two weeks ago to get my pap smear to get done and to get the HPV virus test. My pap smear came back fine. However, the HPV test came back positive. So it said that I was exposed to it. Right. And I've been doing a reading on WebMD, talking to my doctor. I have to come back every six months now. Okay, so I'm you, also definitely know that, that you also know that about 50% of people your age have this. Yeah. It's not yeah, that Yeah, it said 80% like, of women have it. They just don't know they have it. Right. It's extremely um, common. 80% of women don't have well, it. Well, it's 80% 80, 80 of the women who have it don't know they have it. Maybe yeah, and that. she had inflammation of the uterus, and that's what, as soon as she had her pap smear, the doctor noticed it. Right. So I don't have any inflammation. I don't have any warts. I don't have any area. Like herpes, I have nothing, but I am exposed to this virus. No, you have the wart virus. You have it. You will have warts. You will well, have. Well, does that mean it? she'll necessarily have yeah, warts? Well, not necessarily that's the warts. Not, the doc you, not necessarily that's not what the, the warts. doctor said. Not necessarily the warts. You have the wart. Having the warts, having the word virus, the same thing. Huh? Because okay. okay, on WebMD, it said like the the smaller risk is like the warts, and then the high risk. It's like they give you all these different numbers. So basically, I'm because. Oh, you know, Jesus Christ, the S, Christ, the S word. 
Why don't you go to finishing school, by the way? Let me talk to her again. No. Out. Well, I got put her on hold for a second. She dropped the S word. Yeah. Very casually, <laughs> too. It was casual. S-ing herself. Oh, she said she was S-ing in her pants, which I don't even know people did anymore. Yeah. All right. Let me, uh, and by the way, let me, uh, hey, listen, potty mouth. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah. How about you uh, quit uh, S-ing in your mouth? Yeah, I know. I'm under a little bit of stress. Crystal, all right, you're, you're, straighten you're, this you're out for a second. You're talking a mile a minute. You're Let's all right. Let's straighten this out. You understand that most people your age have this. That's what my doctor okay, said. Stop, said. stop, stop. <laughs> if this were that big a deal, don't you think everyone, every, you know, half the women on earth would be freaking out? The fact is the reason you have pap smears is to prevent this from going on to forming full-blown cancer. That's why you have pap smears. Right. So you just keep getting your pap smear. They'll pick it up. They'll do the cryo, whatever they have to do if it shows up, and that's that. All right. That's he it. He also said that it can go away on its own. And my question to Dr. Rue was going to be, what are the chances or have you heard any like percentages of it actually going away? I mean, yes. I'm 23. Yes, so. yes. It's rather common for it to go away. It takes about, oh, five, okay, takes about five years. It's going to be postmenopausal. However, the ones that go away are the ones not typically prone to causing the cervical cancer. It's the more persistent one that causes the cervical cancer. Are you mad at your boyfriend? Well, he's not my boyfriend anymore. He hasn't been for a while, so right. I mean, you're just I told you're him joining about it. you're joining your your gender. It's it's so common. So just this is why you have pap smears. It's why you stay on top of these things. Yeah. It's fine. It's gonna uh, be fine. She drive me nuts. Can I ask a question really quick? Yeah. Did, did you say what fifty percent of women have what? HPV. Which, which is what? The board virus. Okay. The virus. Sorry, I was in and out of this conversation. Okay. Here we go. We got a break. Oh, we got to take a break. Drew's fired up. Every time Drew says that, it makes me think he has warts. <laughs> I picture warts on your Pepe. They're all, uh, look, they're all over the place. No, but mostly oh. on your Pepe. Oh, I like to just picture your Pepe. <laughs> all right. Adam and James here. Maroon 5. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. All right, guys. Bottom line, here's the deal. Looking to hook up? Sick of wasting time with the wrong person? One call's all you need to make. Call the Dateline. The Dateline. 877-889-DATE. Loveline with Adam Carolla and Dr. Drew. 1-800-LOVE-191. Wow, wow, wow. You can this day. Wow, wow. You can You can be right back. This hour brought to you in part by Axe. Experience the Axe Effect. <laughs> Everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Adam and James here tonight from Maroon 5. <laughs> Songs about Jane. Name of the CD. We'll hear something else off of the CD in this 11 o'clock hour. And uh, until then, we'll get back to the phones. We'll speak to uh, Ramon, who's 22. Ramon? Hello. Ramon What's up? here. What's happening? <laughs> what? Oh, man, I got issues, my man. Great. What's up? All right. Well, let me just lay down the big question first. The question is, I'd like to know if a girl can have multiple orgasms and the sex not be good. Mm. And what this question has a story behind it. Mm. Well, right. What do you mean by multiple orgasms? More than she one. got off more than one time in the sequence of intercourse. Okay, but it was one. But it wasn't mean? the pow, 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 pow one. It was I'm sorry, what's that? Some women have these. Were they spread out or was it spread rapid out. fire? Spread out. Okay. Spread out. Got it. Oh. And here's the story. Okay. This is my girlfriend. Well, yeah. hold on. Let's, let's, let's answer it. Let's see if we can address that question first off. Okay. All right. Now, first off, I, I think if you get the pow, pow, pow one, you could get a nutty broad who doesn't really enjoy it is just effed up enough to sort of have uh, every time or, every time you get in a bedroom it's like a car accident right <laughs> yeah just crazy just screaming go off like, and well, it, yeah just go off like rubbing candles no matter what yeah but uh, their uh, their dad could be touching them and it was same thing would happen right, right right they can get off with a magazine if they wanted to right but the uh, setups and then but then no but that's that nutty thing yeah yeah and then, but if you space them out, it means you're not quite as nutty, right? It means you can have orgasms relatively easily. Yeah, relatively. so that woman, I would believe more to be enjoying the experience. Yes, I would agree. We would all agree on that? Yes, I would agree with that. Right, so so far we think she's enjoying it, but keep going. Right, that's what I was pretty sure of, personally. All right, so the problem with this story is that this is my girlfriend, and we started having sex, and I get her to orgasm, but... Unfortunately for me, before we got serious, she had told me about this incident she had with this one military guy about six months ago. 
she told me how he was ugly and how it meant nothing and how it hurt her feelings afterwards because the guy just wanted to bang and he was kind of a jerk. Mm -hmm. But now that we're together and serious, I'm thinking back, well, wait a minute, maybe this guy wasn't so bad in the sack. And now you I'm start, you, start, you start mining you evidence. Wait, well, what, what, what does that mean? So you start what? looking for information? Yeah, I was, oh. but at the time I didn't know that I was going to get involved that seriously, so I was just kind of joking with her, like, so come on, well, was he a stud, or did you guys try this, did you guys try that? And then later on we got huh. serious, and then it all comes back in my face. And I'm like, well, actually, if I get you off and you say that this guy was a jerk and he was no good, but did you get at least finish? And then from there she's like, well, yeah. Um, it was all over the place. Yeah. Then what about the part where he's uh, hung like a black rhino? Yeah, yeah. Well, she's, you know, girls aim to please. I mean, she says that that's not the case. Oh, really? So, well, then, at least I mean, maybe well, listen, it. If, if you're going to believe her uh, on the, uh, if she's going to tell the truth on the hurtful things, <laughs> then believe her when she says he's got a small peck. <laughs> you know what yes, I'm saying? At least for my own pride, right? I'm no, gonna... no, no, no. I'm, here's what I'm saying. Women usually, once they're telling the truth, they're just telling it. Here's the reality. Women aren't really smart enough to lie effectively. They're just, <laughs> they're just not. Once in a while, you get one of these crazy real estate women who wears too much eyeshadow and can lie her ass off constantly. But that's, they're in their 50s. Like, 21-year-old chicks really have difficulty lying. They're just, they're not good at it. And if they're gonna, if they're gonna tell you the truth about Sergeant Slaughter, they would tell you the truth about what was between his legs. Yeah. They, that's it. So yeah, this whole thing. I, I still think what, Ramo, might, Ramon yeah. is turning everything. It's like, well, if it's if it's if it's if it's an ugly truth, he yeah. believes it. If yeah. it's something that would be flattering, he doesn't believe it. But, but He's whatever, though, trouble. it doesn't uh, help him with his dilemma. I, look, I don't even know what his dilemma is. His dilemma not, is, he, is this is like primitive man. We're talking to primitive man, <laughs> at least the primitive side of Ramon, and that is. Another man has touched my territory and caused it to uh, experience things that I am not able to get her to experience. You're a wise man, Drew. I know. Therefore, that. I'm beside <laughs> myself with frustration, and I'm not as I'm not up to that. I'm not as, my my phallus is not magical. My phallus is not. Up to the job. This is not about your pecker. Let's focus <laughs> on the caller, okay? And we'll talk about your schwanz off the air, Drew. Well, let me, add this, let me add this. Let me add this. It's become a forum for your penis talk, <laughs> no, Drew. That's so enough. That, that's what Ramon's up against. I, I know, but, but Ramon said that he's given her Yeah, but he can't do multiple the, he can't orgasms. Do the, no, no, he's given her one. He's given her one. Bring her, bring her to orgasm, but this guy brought her to oh, have, have an extraordinary okay. experience. That's, that changes that. everything. I didn't well, hold on a second. Drew, stop reading the screen. Is that Because he didn't say that. Is that true? What's that? Is that true? That you you've, you can only give her one orgasm? Supposedly, I give her multiple orgasms. Oh, okay. No, oh, so that's right. different. True. Just, just stop being wrong, would you? Well, so what's the problem with this other guy? I, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm hang up ten times on Ramon for wasting <laughs> our time. One hang up. You know in the mafia movies when they keep pumping the bullets into the guy? Yeah, yeah. He's clearly dead, but they just, they just finished a clip. That's what I did with my hang-up on Well, no, Ramon. maybe Ramon's orgasms that he was giving her weren't as good as Sergeant Slaughter's. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Yeah, but you, he's if saying. he's going to worry about that, he's going to drive himself crazy, and he's going to end up right. up her anyway. That's right. primitive so man. How, how can he quantify what's as good? He's giving her multiple orgasms. She, she's also with him now. I don't think he is. And whatever. He was sort of military. alluding to it being maybe one. He uh, said he's giving... He well, just now, wanted now to get. We, he just wanted to get on the air and tell everybody that he gives his girlfriend multiple. Yeah, orgasms. Drew. Then you now. Right now, everyone thinks you're wrong. They want them to know you're wrong. I don't care. Ramon, <laughs> I don't see. Uh, you know, everyone that calls a show, they're, they're like a, a loose tooth that hurts, and yeah. I can't stop flicking with my tongue. <laughs> I can't stop it. I can't help it. I know it's wrong, Ramon. Yeah. I don't understand. You're giving her orgasms, <laughs> yes or no? Yeah. And you're giving her multiple orgasms? Well, I used to give her multiple orgasms, but now she insists on waiting and just having one big one. Okay, so you give her one big orgasm. You're way ahead of the game. And the big problem is is that another guy was with her before you? And I gave her, and she said the sex wasn't that good, but she got off multiple times. And so I'm conflicted on how she can say that and it still not be that good. All right, but listen, here's, here's the thing, everybody. First off, don't do the orgasm math with the ladies. The ladies mm -hmm. are so screwed up, they have sex dreams where the people don't have faces. <laughs> That's, right. That's right. We know exactly who. We have dreams so we can get to people we can't get to normally. You guys have dreams. You're looking at a blank etch-a-sketch for a hat. It might not be a person. I'd be so yeah, so yeah, it's like, oh, who was on? Who was, who was it, Brad Pitt in his gladiator outfit? No, he had no face. What? It was erotic. No face? 
Yeah, I don't know who it was, but it was fair. What did he look like? I, I don't know. I don't know. He was an amalgamation of all men. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'm banging chicks I know at the office and stuff. Like, that's why we do it. Yeah. Imagine, no head. Besides, how are you going to get oral if they got no face? <laughs> Give me oral? No, it's like the Pink Floyd, you know, like the wall, you know, those people. Yeah. You know, that's what they look like. Yeah. They, they I, still have, you know, mouths. Uh, okay, <laughs> all right. Now they got it's a not mouth. A face. Yeah. They're, okay. they're not even clear that they're people. Some of them. <laughs> it's just sort yeah, of it was like it, it was, was like presence. Some it was a presence. The presence went down on her in her sleep. Oh please! Yeah, okay. Don't 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 yeah, sort Ramon this out. Is, yeah, Ramon's, Ramon's twenty two. He's got a lot of energy. Yeah, got a lot yeah. of energy. So his thing was. How could she possibly be having a, a bad sexual experience with multiple right. orgasms? Okay. Like, well, not, doing not all orgasms are the same, though, right? I know. That's what he's saying. The orgasm math with women is very, very... Don't, don't break it it's down. It's not logical. Uh, okay. No. no, you know what it's like? It's like when, you, you know, when I gamble on football, and I'm like, well, the Ravens... They killed the Browns last time they played, and the and now, and 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 this team beat the Ravens, so they're going to destroy the Browns, and the Browns win. Yeah. Wait, you, can you I can't can, do the math. Can I say one thing? I yes. think I think I can clear this up really easily. I've had sex with my girlfriend, and we've mm -hmm. had multiple orgasms, and then we've had sex, and she's had one big orgasm, and that was better sex than the sex. Oh, really? She had multiple orgasms. Yeah, it happens. I think that you, you can't really gauge the different varieties of sex and how good yeah. it is. So I think you're fine, man. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, he's just obsessing over guys that yeah. got there before he did, yep. and that's what yep. you do when you're 22. Yeah, it's primitive man. Jamie? Yes. You're uh, 23? Yes. Um, I have a problem with my mom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She, um, I've had problems ever since I was really small, like since my parents got divorced, and like I recently discovered that she this whole time is addicted to painkillers. What, what do you mean by this whole time? Well, like, basically since I was, like, 14, I've known that she was weird. I just didn't ever know, like, why, because she would mm -hmm. act very strange and she would get really antagonistic and mean. Uh, and mm -hmm. so, I mean, I've been going through this my whole life thinking that, like, maybe she was, like, schizophrenic. I mean, I, I never knew okay, until I so talked to my aunt, like, a week ago. Okay, so she's... And so, here, I, here she's addicted to painkillers. She's been institutionalized twice to try to get off of them. Mm -hmm. And so my whole family is pretty much, like okay, we're done, like, we're going to do the tough love thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm kind of all alone trying to figure out, like, what to do. Why are you all alone? Your family's unified. In, well, in, you've got to be, you've gotta be part of that front. You've got to be pr part of that, that leverage that gets her better, or else she's going to die of this disease eventually. So what should I do? I mean, should I... You stay I with mean, the rest of your family. You follow... Everyone stays together. You must have a completely unified front. Yeah, and, live and, together. And the only, no, no, no. You just see, you don't, nobody, any, whatever position one person takes, everyone must take the same position. And whatever that position is, you should be checking with, you should be going to Al Anon so, and checking with a sponsor. So I have to do the tough love thing too? Would you, you listen to Drew Screwball? Sorry, Your, please. Please. your mother's going to, Jesus hear. Christ. Well, put the phone up tighter Your to your Your mother's ear. going, could, will eventually have serious problems from this condition. The only thing that can leverage somebody into treatment is loss and the encouragement of people that, that she cares about. And if you continue to cave in to her, whatever her demands are, whatever her manipulations are, you're participating in the problem. Okay. And you're, you're adding to the, you know, you're moving her towards eventual fatality here, really. It, it, and she's not in any program right now? No, absolutely not. She's, like, pretty much antisocial, yeah, you Jenny, know. Yeah, you need. you must go to Al-Anon, you must get a sponsor, you must work the steps. With, without okay. that, you are not going to be able to withstand this. You've been, you've been the pawn of her disease since you were a young child. That's right. really who you are now, is this, this sort yeah. of the object of manipulation that is yeah, exactly. the product of her disease. And the only way you can step out of that is if you have support of other people. Where does she get her drugs, by the way? Like, hey, you know, 50-year-old woman, how do you score? Three different doctors. Really? Yeah, it's easy. She has three different doctors. She's, yeah, it's very bad. Easy. I work with a doctor. I can barely get any Ambien. That's right. <laughs> Which reminds me, Drew, I got a score. <laughs> Come on, buddy. You got any samples in the so, car? No. Dr. Drew, do you man. think that I should just move out and get her help that way? You go to, out. listen, Are you, you're living with her. Oh, yeah, I'm moving out. I'm, I'm transferring soon to school, so, I mean, I'm moving out soon. I just didn't want to leave her all alone to, like, rot, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. that that's her decision. The problem is you staying there yeah. is guarantees maintaining her disease. Well, let's put it this way. She's got really? uh, she's got uh, 10 years of this under her belt. Yeah, and she's managed to maintain right. it because you've been there, and the family yeah. have been there to support her and catch her when she falls. You've got right. to go to Al-Anon. You've got to get a sponsor. That is the only solution here. Right. Alan right. oh, yeah, I mean, you can get a therapist if you want, if you want, but if you can go immediately to Alan. My family was the same way, by the way. It's just uh, tough love. 
you know, yeah. except for Wait, no, no love. No one was on drugs. It was, uh. they, there was this way toward college and that kind of stuff. I thought it was no love in your family. Yeah, it was a little, uh. full of love. Just, uh, you know, you can't enable. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Start paying for college, you know, you got you got, got a troublemaker. Yeah. Kid sits around, becomes uh, comes like a cat just waiting by the back back porch, wanting wanting some free milk. You know what I'm saying? True. Do not enable your kids by paying for their college. They got to learn to pick themselves up by their own thong back. I like that modified because I don't think people wear boots anymore with straps. You're right. They don't. There's no boot straps. But everyone wears a thong. That was like Civil War, but people still wear underpants and thongs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or say by your own uh, Nikes or something. I, I, I think a lot of these things, I think like a new broom sweeps clean and uh, picked up by your own bootstraps and, uh, uh, you know, uh, stitch in time and uh, burn the hand. and that, they, need, they need revisions. You got to work on that, Drew, because you don't hear kids dropping these things anymore. No. And a lot of them just are, they're antiquated. Old timey. Yeah, they're old timey. They're, uh, they remind, uh, they remind the kids of uh, old people, and that scares them. <laughs> so they don't have any. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. They say stuff like, duh, and uh, no ass. And whatever happened to no ass Sherlock? I said it was a good one. Did you guys have that one? You know what I mean? Absolutely not. I had no idea what you were talking about. I never heard about. that ever. Well, um, wow. well you gotta, you got to take the word ass. No ass Sherlock? Well, like, you gotta, like your Sherlock Holmes. Yeah. you got to take the word uh, yeah, ass. No, like, no ass smart guy. Well, oh, no, yeah, hold yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. True, true. The, first, yeah. you got to just make sure the S. Yes. You understand. You got to say the, no. entire, the, sound, the, the, the sound. entire word. The, the, the alliteration your, there. I've the sh. I, I know some old timey ones, and I've never heard that before. Well, that one's medium time. That's not old time. Yeah, it's like 10 years old, maybe. You don't know, no, uh, Chris, you know, no S? Hold on. <laughs> Drew, what's I, I going on? I can't believe that's weird. Lauren? I've never heard it, ever. Never. Anybody know the Really? Room? No. Sh. Sherlock. <laughs> Oh, yeah, of course I have. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, okay. See, the S was screwing up. I was not paying it yet. I was like, what are you talking about? Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, of course I've heard that. I don't know the radio thing. I'm sorry. I'm not used to it. Of course I've heard that. All right, thank you. Now, what about you? No, Chris. No, no. I don't know what that was. Chris, when is the tunnel going to be complete so you can get to your house without actually going outdoors? I was checked out for a minute, so I apologize. I knew you guys knew the S. I also knew that us assuming you knew the S didn't sound right. It didn't sound right. It sounded like it's old. I'm not used to the censoring. Yeah, it really did have its own little ring to it. Well, I'll tell you what makes it easier. Replace, let's take the S and just take the word sheet, like a lawn, like a sheet. That's better. Yeah. I would have got that. Would've well, got I can that. I can say that Anderson, right? No, like a you know, laundry careful. sheet, like a, a fitted sheet. So you That's say totally uh, no acceptable. fitted sheet, Sherlock. Yeah, you say yeah, no, yeah, yeah. no sheet, Sherlock, and then uh, you know what we're talking about, yeah, right? Yeah, totally. There we go. Chris, still no? Oh, now, no, he's got nothing. <laughs> Twenty-seven. Listen, he's, thinking, he's thinking about tunnel. <laughs> Ten dollars an hour, everybody. That was actually popular when we were little kids. Yeah, How yeah. did you? Good. Kids, yeah, kids. good. Nice. How did you? How did you know about the tunnel? The Chris, tunnel. Did you tell him. Yeah, I know he doesn't want to see outside. He doesn't want to experience any outside know, world, so he's digging a tunnel to his mom's house. <laughs> now, does your mom have a basement you can tunnel into, or do you got to go up through the subfloor? No, no, no basement. All right, 27, living at home, everybody. Thank you. When are you moving out? When you give me money. All right, <laughs> I'll give you $5 to move out. No. no? His mom needs it, remember? Maybe oh, maybe that's 5, right, 000. right. She needs him yeah. uh, to uh, uh, fill the hamper and eat all her food. <laughs> yeah, well, I know, you. I know I sound like a brick. Thank you. <laughs> April? Yes. You're 22? Yes. What's up? Um, I'm kind of sharing my boyfriend with another guy. <laughs> I don't know if this You're is... You're doing what? Or what? Sharing my boyfriend with another guy. Sharing. Sharing, I guess you could uh, say that. And Well, let me first explain. Um, um, in the beginning of a relationship, I've been dating this guy for about a year and a half. All right, hold on a second. Her phone line is horrible. Yeah. And she's... Pretty bad. It's hard to tell who's worse. The phone or her. Yeah. Uh, all right, so April, here's what we're going to need you to do. Do you have a better phone you could get on? Do you have a landline you could get on? Everyone, and by the way, when you here's the deal with this show. Uh, your best phone should be used when you call this show. It can't be a portable Pretend phone. Pretend you're going to a funeral or, or a wedding. You know, you, you're one of those guys that has one long sleeve shirt. This is the time to put it on. Yeah. I like the guy, by the way, at the... Uh, the funeral or the wedding, who's wearing the V-neck, velour shirt, short sleeve, but it's the best he's got. And I, you think of yourself, not not one long one in the closet, huh? Nothing? Not just, uh, you know, uh, you know, it's a good white trash move, the uh, nice sweater. Got a nice V-neck uh, sweater will be, uh, be that's, the, that's like the funeral and uh, wedding attire. Yeah. yeah. That's a sweater. <laughs> it used to be me. 
All right, I'm going to try April uh, one more time. April? Yes. Oh, a little better. A little better. Okay, so you've got a bisexual okay. boyfriend. Yes. Um, in the beginning of the relationship, he told me that he was bisexual. Um, I accepted it. I was actually yeah. fine with it. I have no problem with it. And yeah, you should. I kind of opened him up to be more of himself. What the hell does that and, mean? Huh? <laughs> what the hell does that mean? Well, I, I'm, I'm thinking cheek spreader when I hear uh, <laughs> opened up the bisexual guy. Like no, a, no, no, no. Um, I let him, I guess, go into the side of um, he, that he wanted to go into. the Some sort of weird fetish or going something? Up, going for guys and going on to that side. And... Well, he so he's saying, he's saying bye bye to homosexuality, to heterosexuality. Yeah, basically. he's yeah. gay or he's he's a disaster. Yeah. He's just, no, not exactly. Sure, I, he's a wreck, and uh, you're screwed up too. So what's up? <laughs> not that screwed up. Yeah, you yeah, are. Yeah, you are. You're yeah, you are. Yeah. Um, yes, yes, you are. And uh, let me just say this because her phone's. I'm, 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 I'm going to have an epileptic seizure <laughs> if I got to hear that tick again on her goddamn <laughs> phone. He, here's the thing. This sort of feeling like, hey, man, I'm hanging back. I'm yeah. comfortable with my sexuality. I'm letting my boyfriend explore his sexuality. That's We're a, cool. We swing. Yeah. I'm not uptight. I'm not. No, it's all BS. That's You're a mess. BS. You're screwed up. Yes. Thank you. That is whenever whenever people go go into that rap, it is exactly that. Let rap. him explore his scene. He wanted to be with fellas and kind of find his sexual bearings. Who am I? Yeah. It imposed yeah. my Who will on his. As somebody who's not listening to your feelings at all. Right. If you listen to your feelings and trust them even a little bit, you'll realize that you are hurt, you are enraged, you're having all kinds of horrible feelings because those would be normal right. when people engage in this kind of chaos in their relationship. All right, That's what my other friend said. Thank you. Thanks. All right, so uh, where's your dad? What do you do wrong? Huh? Your dad. My dad. Yeah, oh, he, he screwed up. What happened? What makes me screwed up? What? You're you're screwed up because you would be attracted to a guy like this. And then tolerate this in a relationship. Yeah. So Actually create it. You help create the, the band. Well, there's intimacy issues here. Intimate? Like how? Like your dad left like, you. Yeah, you somebody or left or disappointed or know. died or something. What? I had a great childhood. I have a great um, high school year. I don't see anything that would... Where's your dad? Anything. Where's your I dad? I live with my dad. It's a happy home. Where's your mom? My mom passed away. Ooh, well, well, we I said somebody lost. left, April. Yeah. That's all well, we're I saying. I said somebody died, actually. Yeah. Wow. Sad. Now, how, how old, how old, old were you? you? Yeah. 17, I think. And what happened? Uh, I, uh, kidney Stop. failure. Kidney failure. Was she a cocaine addict or something? Hmm? Did she, well, that's the first... The Diabetes. Woman or, what? Diabetes. Diabetes. Well, that must have been tough to live with that. I mean, she must have had been going down for a long time. Actually, you know what? It was actually, I believe it was the medication that um, triggered her death. The nurse, uh, yeah, I but think. April. Yes. A woman that age with diabetic kidney failure dies. That's that's the natural history of, of kidney failure in a diabetic that gets that severe, severe kidney disease at that young an age. Yeah, but are they supposed to put a person on dialysis when it's working 50%? The, I, they go on dialysis early because they die readily. Yes, they go on dialysis very early. Okay. And they, and they start getting, and they wait for a kidney as quickly as possible, and often they don't get there. Hold on, you a real doctor or just a love doctor? Yeah. So, April, this, uh, this she, and she must have, listen. I, I, my theory, she killed herself after talking to April on that phone. Here's the deal. That, it, uh, is, that means that I'm she didn't take good through. care of her diabetes in all probability and had long periods of sort of rebellion against it. <laughs> really? Yeah. You sure? I died in her 40s of kidney failure. That's see, That usually means in adolescence they didn't. They, they just had horrible, horrible problems with their diabetes. All right. Yeah. Okay, so, so uh, mom dying. Pretty heavy thing. Very girl. heavy. Very heavy. To live with the illness your whole life. So that's heavy stuff. All right. And if you didn't think that didn't affect you, you better think again. And, yeah, that, I, the, by the way, we, we can go from ideal childhood to uh, mom died when I was in high school right. pretty quickly Do you see how on ridiculous that denial is? How profoundly distorted your perceptions are? All right. So, anyway, uh, look, I feel, I feel sad oh, for your awful. loss. It's awful. But there's a reason why you're with this guy. And this is And it. it needs to be looked into. Yeah. All right. Yes? Yes. We're on five here tonight. We'll take a, a quick break. We'll be right back. Dude, you got issues. Call Love Line. 1 800 Love 191. Hey, everybody, it's Adam. And I'm Dr. Drew. Here to talk about Axe Deodorant Body Spray. Yes, sir. You spray that on, you give Stink the Axe. <laughs> Hey 
there, buddy. It's Love Line, man. And that's Dr. Drew. Ooh. Phone number 1 800 LVE 191, Maroon 5 here tonight. James and Adam joining us. And what we should do is take a phone call and then uh, hear another song. Perfect. All right. Let's talk to Kelly, who's 22. Kelly? Hi. What's happening? What's up? By the way, all of yeah. our callers should sound exactly like Kelly. That's right. Really? Uh, mm-hmm. On the ball, clear clarity lucid. of the phone, lucid. Oh, well, thank you. I like that. That's my girlfriend's. Name. We don't care what you have to ask us. It's it's all okay. fine. Okay, you want me to just talk to you? Yeah, just talk. Well, yeah. yeah. All right. What do you what'd want to talk about? What'd you do today? Yeah. <laughs> so okay, can I ask? Wait, wait, wait. wait. No, what'd well, you do today? What was your day like? Oh, what did I do today? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I went to work, and then I, um, do. I work. I work in an office. I do admin work. Oh. Nothing to be excited about. What kind of work? Administration. Oh, admin. Admin. Admin oh. stuff. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Well, what do you, what do you I'd want rather to be have doing? your job. You'd rather be on radio? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, radio. I'd rather be on. I mean, do I have the voice to be on radio? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you do. So and hook me up. You could talk to you. <laughs> Kelly, we're going to make you a star. star. That's right. Yeah, a radio I'm star. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. Yeah. Do you right. want to. No, wanna, no. I want her to teach classes on how to be a caller on Loveline. <laughs> yeah. Is this no, just why, right? What's up with that? I'll tell you, I'll tell you why, because you're how it usually works. Go ahead, Drew. Okay, this is uh, Stu29 from uh, Carson City. Stu. Huh? What's going on, Stu? Who's this? Uh, it's Adam <laughs> and Drew. You got a question for us tonight? Drew? Oh, uh, Adam. Yeah, I got a question for Adam. We're the Chuggies! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Give a shout out to my peeps in Carson, man. You know what? What's up, Squeak? No, let, me, let, me do the, let me do the call. Uh, you be, you be the, the interviewer. Uh, no, no, now you got to ask some questions. Okay. Uh, so, what are you calling about, Stu? Uh, I'm calling a love line. Yeah. Okay, you're on the air. What's up? Hey, is this Drew? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Can I give a shout out? No, no. What's your question? Oh, man. You, Adam, you have way too much right? energy. Okay, you're too I'm clear. Try, I'm trying to slow put the, down. Put some, put some trying, over I'm your trying, mouth. Trying to bring it down. Put some clothing over the, over the microphone. There you go. All right, good. Uh, no, no, stand back about six feet. <laughs> Who's this? No, okay, here we go. Is this the track, Drew? Yeah, yeah. What's going on, this dude? Oh, man, my nards hurt. <laughs> <laughs> really? When did that start? It started, like, for, in my groin. Yeah, but, but when, how, how, this has been going on for how long? It's going on. It feels like a hundred years, man. When, you, when your nards hurt, it feels like every second feels like I know it feels like a hundred years, but how in, in, in human out terms, how long has it actually been going on? In terms of calendar days. How old am I? <laughs> My nards hurt. Dude. Oh, they've hurt since the last time you were with your girlfriend? Oh, my, oh, I love it. Right? She's just Drew. Yes. yes My yes, nards yeah. are hurting, man. Yeah, well, they got hit. Ah, wh- how long did they get hit? Yeah, uh, it, it was like... Last uh, time you played soccer? When I played softball yeah, last, last time, time. Last time you played softball. I shouldn't have pitched. Yeah. I well, should have put my beer down. When was the last time you played softball? Oh, man, I'm in a league. Ah. Uh, we play all the time. Right. <laughs> right. And when was the last time you especially. played? When you got hit with Well, the last time we, had, uh, we played, last time a game was scheduled. Ah, okay. What, and when would that be exactly? How long ago? How many That's days? Saturdays. Ago? Saturday. Saturday's game. Last Saturday, Saturday. We always play Saturdays. Okay, so Saturday you got hit in the nose. No, not last Saturday. Oh, we normally play Saturdays, <laughs> but we got rained out last okay, Saturday. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Th- that's how it goes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. On and on and on, trying to figure out when a guy got hit in the nuts. Yeah. That's but then we got Kelly. Let's, let's go. Now back. we got Kelly. Yeah. Kelly? Hello? Yeah. I'm back. Affair. Yes, yes. We do. Okay, so are you ready for my question? Mm-hmm. Sure, sure. Okay. I've been dating this guy for about four months now. Mm-hmm. And we have a pretty good sex life. Mm-hmm. And I really like giving him head. Can I say that on the radio? Mm-hmm. Yes, and thank you for asking. Okay. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy doing that. It's, mm-hmm. it's fun for me. I enjoy watching him, like, get off on that. It really turns me on. Yeah. However, uh-uh. um... I don't know, it's like about a couple of weeks ago. And I'm cool to try new things. I really like to experiment and explore. I don't have a problem with that. Be careful. You know, we, that always sets our spidey senses <laughs> off. Somebody but, says, I'm cool. I'm cool. Right. You're cool? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, trying to let her talk. Let her talk. <laughs> I'm yeah. just trying to kind of prove a point here because this last thing that he asked me to do didn't make any sense to me. And I think it's kind of stupid and I can't mm-hmm. really get into it. Mm-hmm. He He said to me that 
if I'm giving him head and there's certain vibration with it, like a voice or like a humming, he wanted me to hum while I was going down on him. And I... How old, how old is this guy? He's 24. Huh. He's two wow. years older than me. Wow. And uh, what he wants you to hum? It didn't like matter. Bonanza theme? <laughs> 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 I hope not. And, and then I did that one. I was like doing some kind of like oming like that. I just, it didn't feel right. So I started wanted what? Up. Like Wait, I was, what? Like I was doing the Indian chant, like om oh, mm, while I was doing No, no, me Yeah. It didn't, uh, I don't know. What do you guys right. think? Do you guys think that really I helped? Think I think it's retarded. It does, no. Like yeah, like that's a, BJ's. No improvement on that. Yeah. All no. the means, if he wants vibration, get a vibrator. Maybe that just proves my point. That's wait, wait, Kelly. Saying. If he wants a vibration, get him a vibrator. A vibrator? Uh, if that's uh, what yeah, he's I looking can do for. That. I can put both of them in there, can't I? <laughs> can I say that on the air? Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. And, and we don't mean—I don't mean necessarily. You know, this shaped like a, a phallus necessarily. It was something. It doesn't matter, right? Any of the No, no, no. Listen, I—I I think you're doing that. The idea that you give this guy copious amounts of oral sex and that your attitude is second to none. Yeah. Is enough. That be enough. In, fact, in fact, it sounds sort of. It, to me, it's. It makes me worry about this guy that he has to up the ante yeah. for someone who is really available to him and enthusiastic. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's almost like he's got to punish her for being. Uh, mm -hmm. I wonder if he's got a little bit of that in him. Mm -hmm. Is is he? Uh, how would you, how would you describe that guy? He's looking at a gift whore in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, he's getting uh, plenty of uh, oral, and yet he's... I don't think it's not that big a deal, I, I, though. To me, it seems like he's yeah. demeaning her a little bit. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, here's oh, the thing. Yeah. Here's it's why... It's a big deal. You don't want... It's not a big deal, but it's a little... It's a subtle kind of like, what do you, what's, he, what's he... Yeah, but I've never I've never asked for that before, but I've heard of, I've heard of it. Really? But, yeah. I never. Yeah, but, I, it's never uh, crossed my mind. How but do like, you... And by the way, isn't it a distraction when you're I trying think, to get a I BJ so. and you're hearing the humming? I Listen, think so. I mean, I just... You know, I mean, I don't know. I'd like to do that stuff, and I'm if you don't want to do it, willing just don't to do try it. anything if it's going to help or enhance or make it different from somebody else. Why not? I do. I, I make I make girls hum Maroon Five songs. Yeah, me too. Do you? Maybe I should no, try that. I'm just I yeah, he hums a Maroon Five song. It feels extra good. Huh. Yeah, All let's. Right. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, you know the the next song we're going to play is called uh, "Harder to Breathe." Is sort of apropos, yeah, yes. Go. Because uh, one, one could have difficulty breathing and humming and blowing all well, simultaneously. Yes. Now that you've mentioned that. All right. Yeah? <laughs> you cute up there, Chris? There's a little Maroon 5 song called Harder to Breathe. How dare you say that mommy hit is unacceptable. So condescending, unnecessary, critical. I have the tendency of getting very physical. So watch your step, because if I do, you need a miracle. No
Live, everybody. We got Adam and James here from the band. What happened to the applause, Anderson? We used to, uh, used you to like play that. Song? that. Yeah. It was, it was a great song. I was just recueing from the cuss word that I had to cut. Oh, okay. From the effing. Oh. All right. Oh, no, he's Listen. saying funking. Oh, yeah. That, that's good. That works. It's in the liner notes, too. We can funk until the dawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that, uh, oh, I thought that was Anderson. I'm talking to Well, uh, take a little break. Uh, now, let's see. Who's random guys? Oh, Meredith. Hold on a second. Meredith? Yeah. You're 22? I am. You uh, you have sex with random guys? No, <laughs> sex with random guys. Yeah, I got my, my friends. You yeah. Your friends? Yeah. Okay. How many? How many? Uh, six or seven. Mm -hmm. Over uh, what period of time? Uh... Not a long time. I most I, I don't have intercourse with them. It's more just fooling around. Mm. Oral sex? Yeah. Wow. Where was that? Where was that just sort of casual, <laughs> random, the throwaway friends, oral? Friends with benefits. It's like he, he sprung uh, for an appetizer. He bought a seven-layer dip. Uh, I'm not really into him. I'll give him a quick BJ. Just take the edge off. Keep, you know. It's become a lot more casual. Uh, uh, oh, man. Yeah. Way. I know. I know. It's great. Well, by the time, uh, Drew, by the time your kids hit high school, it would be considered like a greeting, like shaking hands. <laughs> I mean, that's you know documented, I mean? right? Drew, yeah, that, that's documented. It's actually, it will be a greeting. Yes, they'll be yeah. like bonobo monkeys. Yeah, they'll be actual. Include some sort of humping. Hi, how do you do? Uh, zip, zip, uh, there you go. Thank you. And, uh, uh, and ladies, how do you do, do, you do too? Gentlemen, <laughs> I mean, uh, guys and girls, just <laughs> I, oh, show oral. That's a fine how do you do. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, because it really, it... it you just couldn't imagine it getting more casual than it already is. Yeah. The idea, like uh, when I was in high school, the idea of a girl giving a guy a BJ who she wasn't really that, you know, she wasn't really that into. You know what I, I mean? Had, just like hadn't been having sex with for months already. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually, actually was, down, the, was down the road. Downstream from sex. Yeah. You know, once in a while you uh, heard about some guy got a BJ like on the first date or something. So I was like, huh, what? What happened? How so what happened? what happened? When, when did that when did out? that turn? What was about? 10, I don't know. 10, 12 years ago. Yeah. And so why? I, uh, I think word got out that I pulled out of the game, and uh, <laughs> Time. when, when Carola left, uh, the BJ party started. <laughs> That's how it worked. They're all waiting for me to leave, like a like sort of a uh, anti surprise party. Is he left? Is he gone? It's not. He's coming up <laughs> the driveway. Fun. Be quiet. It's like he's gone. <laughs> all right. Let the blowing begin. <laughs> he's gone. Oh wait a minute. He forgot something. He's coming back. Everyone, <laughs> pull up your pants. <laughs> and start hugging. Okay. We're going to take a quick break, then we'll get back with uh, Meredith after this. Loveline. Loveline will be right back. So get your problems ready. 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 This program is sponsored in part by the Clicker Ticket National Highway Traffic Safety Administration Safety Belt Campaign. Hey everybody, it's Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew. James and Adam here tonight from Maroon 5. Songs about James. Name of... <laughs> little little jump in there. Name of the uh, CD. And there you go. <laughs> we'll uh, get back to Meredith, who's 22. So Meredith has some uh, casual relations with uh, relations. some of her friends. Hmm? Yes. yes. Casual relations with friends, yes. Right. That's and what, is, your, what is your that's question? Exactly what I said. Oh, sorry. Um, I have a question about anorgasmia. Yeah. What is that, Drew? Unable to have an orgasm. Mm hmm. And I'm wondering what sort of physical things could attribute to it because I seem to have it. Hmm. Well, physical things. You mean medical things? As in, there's not really been anything psychological in my life that would cause this. Well, some some women, a lot of women at twenty two, just don't have them. Right, you have you have to kind of work it out with a, with a, somebody you really care about. You, you know have what? to kind of what? Yeah, like a dentist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What? I I mean, it, it's total anorgasmia with everything with 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 other people, with myself, everything. Mm. Yeah, but have you ever been in love? Yes. And in that relationship, did they have a sexual component? Yeah. And did he try oral sex, that kind of thing, with you? Yep. Yeah. How much Quite oral sex was attempted? Quite a bit. Quite a bit. And Quite nothing. Bit. And never had an orgasm, like, in the tub, alone? 
Nope. Hmm. Yeah, and with the oral sex with the guy you really cared about, was he? Did you get close? Were we close? What did, did I get close? Oh, close yeah. Close to the orgasm with the oral sex. I kind of get halfway, and then it's just like, all right, I'm done. You can stop now because it's not really going to go any further. Yeah, but why? How do you know it's not going to go any further? It's just sort of, it, 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 it doesn't work, and it's just kind of, instead of a pleasurable feeling, it's just sort of annoying, and I just okay. want to stop, and I'm done. Right. And Are you on a medication? Just a pill. The birth control pill? Mm-hmm. Which one? I'm on, uh, working on. You're set? Okay. Okay, Th th that can do it. You know that can dr that can really? yeah that can mm. that can knock your drive down pretty good. Have you ever tried being sexually active without being on the pill? I went off of it for about four or five months because I'm also losing my hair, and I thought that might be the yeah. Case. Was and it with that with during the time you were with that guy you really cared about? Mm-hmm. And nothing. Still having nothing. Nope. Losing your hair. Yeah, yeah, losing my hair. Yeah, yeah. 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 And you have no medical problems. Nope. And were you sexually abused growing up? Nope. You sure? I'm positive. And do you feel things down there? It's not like you're cut off from it. You know, actually, you actually feel sensations. No, I, I get turned on. I, yeah. I, I engage in sexual activity. It's just when mm. I get to the mm. end of it, I, it just nothing happens. Are you a Mormon? No. Mm. Oh, okay. True. How about a, uh, how about a vibrator? <laughs> how about that? I have four or five. Four or five. Yeah. Nothing. Yeah. You can't use them all at once. No, I can't use them all at once. You get, uh, you get what we call bottleneck. Well, <laughs> jams up in there. I predict you will sort of grow out of this. Yeah. That's my prediction. Yeah, you keep working at this. There, there are books out there. You're, you're actually one of the few people that I recommend those books to. That there, there are books out there uh, that sort of teach women exactly what to do, some things to try, and what, and maybe even to teach your boyfriend that, that he can do to help you out. Well, you, you giving BJs to random buddies is certainly That's not, not going to help Not going to shake yeah. a uh, piece of orgasm fruit off the tree. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. You, you got you to gotta get with one guy. You give him the guy's a little bit, uh, a little bit older and a little ugly, because he he'll work. You don't want some pretty boy. <laughs> pretty boy, lie down, eh, get busy. But you get a guy's a little bit homely. They they focus. They work. They work hard. You know what I mean? They got a better ethic. It's true. Got, and uh, use a little oral sex on you. Maybe incorporate the vibrator. Shake it loose. But uh, that's going to take a little while. And she's and Meredith is is one that's you know legitimately doesn't have orgasms. Well, yeah. Most people we talk to, it turns out they got molested. Right. It turns out uh, they have a medical condition. It turns or, or, out they can have it yeah. through oral or right. when they're alone or right. in the tub. Or they're seventeen and worrying about it. I yeah. think she may just be delayed in terms of this whole thing. How about the online. tub? Uh, hey Meredith, have you tried the tub water? You know, running the water on you. Yep, and the hot tub jet. Wow. All right. Yeah. Wow. Well, suicide. Keep, I, keep, no, keep at it. Oh. This, this will it will come around, so right. to speak. Yeah, yeah, I bet you. Yeah, I bet you. But I, but I think the particular pill you're on is working against you. All right. I think you may want to get a pill. If you're going to be on a pill, get a little higher estrogen dose pill. That might help you out a bit. Mm -hmm. Bo. Yes. You're 25. Yes. You went to a AA meeting tonight. I did. Your first one. Yeah, it was my first one. Uh, just. I drink to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I realized that I needed to start doing that because there have been some adverse effects. So, mm -hmm. good times. All right. I definitely have problems. So, so what's up? Um, I guess what I'm curious about. I went to AA, yeah. and I'm not a religious person, and right. you know, there's a little bit of religion in there, and it kind of makes me feel uncomfortable because I guess, like, I believe they mentioned, like, the third step is giving up your life to God or well it's giving up giving up control to a higher power the problem with being an alcoholic is that you want to control everything as, as my uh, 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 therapist once said to me she said all of her patients are a piece of S or she, they feel like a piece of S around which the whole world revolves mm -hmm. and that whole business of keeping the no world S, revolving sure. <laughs> keeping yeah. the world revolving around its axis because you're in control of it and you're hyper vigilant about it and you're focused on it as opposed to just letting go and having faith that things will be okay that really is the fundamental principle in there that's operating. Because Different meetings have more, more or less talk about God or religiosity. You got to yeah. find a meeting. Stay that, out of the black neighborhood. It goes because uh, you're going to get it's going to be a revival going on <laughs> over there. Like yeah, tambourine wonder, playing. <laughs> the whole idea is you make meaning of that in your own way. Okay, I was wondering if there are any, you know, like a it was a, it was positive, and you know, I. I, 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 there are, yeah. but there are there are things like rational recovery and SRS oh, really? and stuff. Yeah, but I hear about I, they really end up being the same thing, and I, there's just a better uh, community and a better, more sophisticated, better outcomes typically with twelve steps. So Another, just, just uh, go and just make whatever meaning you need to make of those those third second yeah. third steps. Don't be stuck up, all you atheists. 
Yeah, it, it's again. They, 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 I wish they, they, they should not call it God and just go yeah, stay with the higher. Unfair. Yeah, the higher yeah. power concept is the one that just gives people a notion. This is just something to give them faith that they can let go of safely of of control. Right. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, unless she's by herself, you know, know. Time is, uh, is, uh, All right, Renee from Alaska. Renee. Yeah. What's up? Um, my problem is like. Whenever I have sex, I never have an orgasm. I've never had one. Mm-hmm. During intercourse? Yeah. All right. That, that may never happen. But you, you have it during oral sex? And I've only done oral sex once. Okay. Well, that, that's... Hold on. But as usual, now, here's yeah. the question. Did she have an orgasm? Well, we'll never know. No. No, you did not. But no. that that's where you're going to be able to is yeah. through that kind of activity. Because m- <laughs> most women do not have orgasm during intercourse. Yeah. Think oral sex. Okay. Okay. All right. You're depressed? You okay? Yeah. Yeah? What's going on? What part of Alaska do you live in? Anchorage. Mm-hmm. And uh, why? Why are you there? Your, your dad <laughs> couldn't handle society? People, people seem... And let me tell you how people end up in Alaska. They're fleeing. They're running away. They're running they, away they from They all their, say that, too. They're running from their past. They're from... from yeah. Whatever yesterday was the past. Yeah. Or whatever happened yesterday. I like to run from my future. Yes. <laughs> I, I, I really... The past, I'm cool with. It's the future I'd like to avoid. No, they, they people will tell you... Every, they Basically, they say up there, everyone has a story. Ooh. Everyone that's very good. Yeah. Renee? Yeah. It's, uh, what, what, how did you end up in Anchorage? I was born here. Aha. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. What, what, yeah. What's your dad do? My dad, I've never, like, I've met my dad, like, three times. He lives in Texas. Mm-hmm. Was your mom trying to go away from your dad? No, it's, he just left when he found out my mom was pregnant with me. He left Anchorage? Yeah, he was living here, and then he just left and went and lived with his family in Texas. Mm. What got your mom to Anchorage? This could take all my grandparents moved here because my grandpa was in the Air Force. Okay, oh. there we go. All right. Well, not so, not so much fleeing. Yeah. All right. But, but a story, nonetheless. Oh, always a story, yeah. I'd, I'd say, uh, I'd say uh, Alaska uh, and lots of, lots of parts of Nevada, like uh, mm. Vegas and Reno. Mm-hmm. You know, like, you, you don't want any guy ends up in Vegas. Like, what happened? Uh, meth deal went bad. Got some guys looking for me in New Jersey, and I... Uh, just wait till things settle down just a little bit. So I'm driving a hack out here. And then Florida too. Florida, the Florida's too. Florida's too. That's some, some sort of some story. sort of s gutter. Yeah. Florida, and Nevada. Yeah. All right. We'll take a quick break. <laughs> we'll be right back. All right, guys. Here's the deal. Dateline. You're looking to hook up. Sick of wasting time with the wrong person. Dateline. One call is all you need to make. Call the Dateline. Eight seven seven eight eight nine date. Call the Dateline. Uh, oh yeah. Everybody now. This hour brought to you in part by Axe. Experience the Axe Effect. Well, that's the show, everybody. I want to thank Maroon 5 for uh, coming in, especially James and Adam for um, showing their pusses. God bless you. Thank you, Thanks for having us, guys. Songs about Jane, everybody. Go out and get it if you haven't already. And uh, guys, we'll see you soon. Whenever you're uh, touring, whenever you're coming can I, through can town. I say, can I say one thing? Sure. We have a, we have a show on July 17th at Irvine, or I believe now it's the Verizon Wireless. Yes, Verizon. Amphitheater. So please come and see us, everybody. Oh, John, John Mayer. With John Mayer. Sorry. Oh, Excellent. can't go wrong with that. No, That's yeah. a one-two punch. Yeah. We'll uh, take a little break, and until next time, this is Adam Kroller for Dr. Drew saying mahalo. Stephanie, no children, right? Yeah, we don't have any kids. How come we have kids? He never made love to me. Hello. This has been Loveline. The opinions expressed on this show are not necessarily those of the staff, management, sponsors, or this station. The producer for Loveline is Annie Gold. Loveline is a presentation of Westwood One Entertainment.